today we're making vegan caviar. So first we're going to start by uh, heating up one cup of water in a small saucepan and bringing it to a boil. So um, we're going to add some stuff now that the water is boiling. We have some ginger here with a dried shiitake mushroom and it's about 10 grams of ginger. I use this little scale here to measure. And then I have one sheet of nori, which I have broken up, and you can break it up further if you wish. And I have the dulse flakes, and that's also 10 grams. <laughs> and so we're going to all add that in and give it a stir. We may need a little bit extra water. We're going to stir it up. We're going to reduce the heat in a bit to low, for, and it will be like 5 to 10 minutes, more, most likely 10 minutes. And then what we have set aside to add later on is a mixture of activated charcoal and some agar agar, which is a white powder. So I think it was 5 or 10 grams of each, or it was a half teaspoon, something like that. Anyway, I'll put it in the description. So we'll just have to wait. We'll wait for now, and then in five to ten minutes, we're going to be adding that in. Okay, now it's time to strain our mixture here. Get our strainer, and we're going to strain it into this bowl. Make sure all the liquid comes through stuff. We will be reusing this unlike what the recipe tells you to do, tells you to toss this, but I have a stock bag that I'm keeping in the freezer so it's going to be quite an interesting broth later on. So what we're going to do is just scoop out this stuff too. Well, we chilled some olive oil here for 45 minutes. I bet we're going to be using that in a bit. So what we do is we put the cleared liquid back into the pot. And we have a mixture of caper brine, brine from the capers, and soy sauce that we're going to add in. And we have the activated charcoal with the agar agar, and that's going to cause our liquid to thicken up. So we want it, want to bring it to a little bit of a boil. As we stir it, so we're going to put the timer on for three minutes. We're going to let everything dissolve in there. And then we will be using this dropper right here. We'll put pour the liquid into this very carefully. And then we're going to drop the little bowls into our chilled olive oil and they will be like little mini vegan caviar and you'll see. Three minutes has passed after after it's come to a boil. So we're going to transfer it into this thing and hopefully it works out. We'll see. The first thing I'm gonna do it into this spouted bowl to make it easier. Our olive oil is chilled, so hopefully that will be good. So you pour it into this carefully. I got this thing at Nicolau. Oh, darn it! Oh, 
Oh my gosh! It was squirting really hard. <laughs> okay, let's go down. <laughs> One drop at a time. Try to take it easy. <laughs> I'm telling myself now. We hope you can see there. We have to go further out a bit. Well, they look like they're forming balls. Ouch! I feel the <laughs> I feel the heat coming through. Okay. Need two hands now. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Oh. This is very interesting. I've never done this before. Come on. I don't want to open it too much. Right. Oh! <laughs> that happened. <laughs> okay, try to zoom in there, maybe. Oh! Okay. Well, we'll see how it turns out in the end. Some of those may not be perfect balls, <laughs> but we tried, we'll see. Some of them will be okay. And uh, we'll come back and show you how it turned out. So this is what we're working with. Some of them are different sizes, but I'm sure we can work with what we got here. Some sushi rice, because we're going to make some sushi to go with the vegan caviar. So I have some rice vinegar here, which I have mixed with some uh, kelp granules, a bit of natural organic cane sugar, and a little bit of salt. And we're just going to blend this mixture in to the rice. Make some quick pickled ginger. So we have some rice vinegar and a little bit of sugar and we sliced some ginger up and salted it. It's in this dish right now and we have a little jar set aside. Um, and then we'll be pouring over this liquid once it has come to a boil. So the sugar has dissolved in the rice vinegar, it's boiling, and we're just going to pour it inside the jar over top of the uh, ginger here. We'll let it cool for a bit before we put it in the fridge. So we're gonna take our sushi rice outside of the fridge and get rolling. We just took out the sushi rice that was in the fridge. You want to spread it evenly, but leave a little space for the seal at the top. And some people mix in some wasabi to the rice, just a touch of it, just for flavor, which isn't very noticeable. I actually don't have wasabi on hand, but I'm going to be just using horseradish instead for the finale. We want to try to make sure it's even. We left a gap at the top here, 
we have some water for the seal and we have our filling some cucumbers or peppers avocado all ready to go so you're gonna want to do it a little bit inwards so not right at the edge about an inch or two And you want it to be fairly even. Now your hands must be clean and dry for the rolling. So gently lift this up. Tuck it in. Now the ends may look ugly, you can chop them off. You want your knife to be nice and sharp. And you want to Make even cuts as much as you can. Straight down so that they're not on an angle. Okay. Let's put it on a plate. There we go, our sushi rolls. These and pieces is optional. Well, this one isn't bad, but it's kind of crowded on the plate. So see the underside is more, the other side is a bit messy. Depends on how picky you are. Okay. So we have our vegan caviar that we pulled out from the fridge. Some of the bowls are different shapes, so we'll see what we got to work with here and pick what we want accordingly. So I'm going to need a bit more practice with that dropper <laughs> to be able to get the perfect uh, vegan caviar. And not bad for first try. <laughs> okay, let's try to get them out of this oil. Well, oh, this is kind of cool. Just trying to get some oil oil out. It's 
very interesting. It was really a cool experience. That's our vegan caviar. So here we have our uh, vegan sushi and vegan caviar. I just laid it out on the cutting board so you could get a better view of it with the lighting that I'm working with right now. So here we have it, our vegan sushi with our vegan caviar and some homemade pickled ginger, which was done quickly. And uh, since we don't have wasabi, I'm using some horseradish instead for today.